Hello everyone, I hope you're all well. Welcome to snippet number 16. This was snippet number 15 and we had, I got a spare background from this so I'm going to use that for snippet 16. So I'd got two of these. So if you just create two backgrounds exactly the same with the paint technique, just make sure that your paint is wet. The technique won't work if your paint dries out. So I'm going to use the same background. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to use the same background. And then I'm going to use the Bulb Gazette. And on the previous one, we just used touches of it by lifting the stamp. This time I'm going to use the whole stamp. So I'm going to use Versafine Morning Mist, the grey. So I'm going to use the grey and I'm going to ink up the whole stamp. So stamp set 907 Bulb Gazette. I've had a few questions about the snippets, about when they'll end, etc. I'm just going to keep these going for as long as I like. So Hopefully, I'll be doing them still in a year's time. I want to use all my stamp sets. So what I'm going to do is place this just here, just over the background. And the backgrounds have plenty of time to dry. Don't try to stamp on wet paint because that's not going to work. But what I love is that you can't tell whether the stenciling came first or whether the text came first. But you can see that that's quite shiny on there. So what I want you to do is just grab a piece of copier paper and I just want you to give that a blot. Just because that surface is no longer um, absorbent because you've, you've placed that layer of paint on there. So you just need to make sure that you just blot that. But even just like that, and a sentiment would look beautiful. Just give it a couple of blots. Just make sure that you blot that nice, nice and well. And then, as with our previous one, we had the circular piece, and I'm going to have a circular piece on this, which is sort of going to be around about there. I don't want to sort of hide the word bulbs. And then I'm going to use the stamp that goes with the stencil. So I'm going to use Swirls 629. And we're just going to stamp that with sort of colours that are in the background. So I'm going to use Cracked Pistachio Distress Oxide. Just press that on so that you get that sort of that colour just on there. So a nice layer of colour. And then I'm going to go with the broken china. There we go. I'm going to add the broken china and the cracked pistachio. If you've covered too much up of the cracked pistachio, then just go back over with some more. And then I'm just going to stamp the circle just with that stamp that matches the stencil doesn't matter which way up you do that because you can easily just turn it round or whatever. Just give your stamp a little bit of a clean when you use oxides because you don't want that oxide ink to be on there when you stamp with your black. Just so you can see that. And if you wanted to, you can also, I have to be aware of time. So take a little bit of water. Again. Tracy's not got a clean brush, but we're all used to Tracy now. Don't do as I say, not as I do. But, but if you want, you can also drag a little bit of the colour out, if you wish, just to, to drag it out a little bit. You don't need to, if you don't wish, but just to give you, you know, another idea, you can drag that out. I don't wish to, I'm quite happy with that. So what I'm going to do then is go back to the Bulb Gazette and I'm going to use my grey morning mist again. And I'm going to add a little bit of the stamping just in the background. 
just because I adore that stamp. But just look, it looks wonderful. I love how it, how it looks. Now, don't forget, these are about simple ideas. It doesn't have to be complicated. And then what I'm going to use is my VersaFine Claire, black, the black one. And I'm going to use Spread a Little Happiness, this little stamp set here. I love this little daisy here, or you can use this one or the fine one here. Stamp set 628. And I'm going to keep it nice and simple. And I'm going to take the Nocturne ink. And it's a silhouette stamp. So give that a little bit of time just to grab hold of the ink. So just going to add this here, like so, just so you've got the little flower there. Now, hopefully I've got just enough time just to show you a quick technique with a silhouette stamp. Really, you need an ink pad that is a little bit drier so one of your VersaFine Claire's that's a little bit drier. I'm hoping this one's a little bit drier. So not a very juicy ink pad. Don't use a juicy ink pad. Take the Bulb Gazette stamp. Stamp the text on there. And then if you stamp onto your card, you end up with a kiss technique. Come on, focus camera. Can you see that text on the flower? There you go. So that's the kissing technique, just to show you a little technique with silhouette stamps. Right, what I'm going to do then is just take my water brush and I'm just going to add a little bit of shading just to my flower. So I'm using my ink tents, China ink, just to add a little bit of shading just around the side of the flower, just so that that pops a little bit more. There we go. This will go here, like so, but I thought I'd just add the blackbird. So let's just see which blackbird we want to add. So just take the blackbird and I can just decide which, yes. So I want, let me have a look, that blackbird, so that blackbird. Do you like how I have to talk to myself? It's just me all over. If you take stamps off acrylic blocks, just remember to wipe your hands. And what I'm going to do is just ink that black beard and then just use a piece of kitchen roll. And we're just going to make sure we haven't just caught the nose of that one. There we go. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of this black beard just here on the edge. Just remember, just allow the ink just to sit on there, just so you've got the little black beard peering through. And again, let me just show you that technique like I've got time. Use a VersaFine Claire that is not very juicy. Stamp the text onto the black beards which is the Bulb Gazette, and then stamp the black beards. Oh, wow, look at that. Look at that for the kissing technique, just stunning. Anyway, just thought I'd show you that technique, like I've, like I've got time for all this, but there you go. So then what I'm going to do is add some cotton just to add I've got a little bit of acetate on here just a little bit of the cotton let's add our adhesive 
So the cotton just echoes the black on the stamping. Let me just, let's see. Not that I'm very particular. There we go. And just grab a piece of copy of paper and just press that down. The warmth of your hand will just get that going. just get that going and then where are we? let me just grab a Posca pen actually we'll use a, use a distress oxide and then just grab a fine brush so I'm using lumberjack plaid just a bit of water and I'm just going to just add a few splatters of the lumberjack plaid. There we go. Just to give a tiny pop of red. And then on my, how long have I got? On my little stamp set that I use for the numbers, I've got plastic everywhere, which is the garden mix tagged. I've got the word botanical and the word the great outdoors so whichever one you want you can separate separate those out if you wish nobody knows where the acrylic block's gone so you can separate these words out if you wish i've they're just all on one uh, stamp let's use the versifying claire Just stamp this here. Bit of black on there. Just cut out your sentiment or your wording or whatever you want. I don't want to cut out all this background because I can use that for something. Not that I'm obsessed with using things. go just cut that down and then I'm just going to add a little bit of the Posca pen around the edges just be aware when you add your Posca pen around the edges it's just wet for a few seconds so don't go and smudge and add it to your background so while that just dries a little bit which posca pen they both feel empty we'll just add a few splatters of white there we go if you can't use a posca pen use paint and you can just water that down and splatter it you need to make sure your posca pen is shaken and pumped so that the paint starts flowing from the pen before you do the splatters. So just add the word botanical just here, like so. Just hold that down for a few seconds, just so that that grabs hold. Let's bring in our little... How oh, long have I got? And then what I would just do is just add a little bit of shading just around your circle like we've done before. And where Tracy, you see Tracy just dumps everything everywhere and then just blend out your shading just so that that blends out. You don't need much water, just blend it out. Just blend that out until it softens. There we go. And that is your snippet number 16. And I absolutely love these stamps and stencils, the way they work together as well. But I hope you're enjoying the snippets. I'm really enjoying them. Just so you can see 15. 
and this is snippet 16. Love to all and I'll see you all soon. Bye for now.